Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna work on some percent problems. Oh, what fun, let's get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. All right, today, we're gonna do some percent problems. Ooh. All right, here we go, Charlie, right there. Now, what number is 50% of 30? So some of you could probably kung fu this because some of you know that 50% is what, Charlie? Half. That's right. And what's half of 30? 15. Four. Very nice. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use the computer to translate first into an equation, and then we're going to solve that equation for the unknown, which we're going to use as x. Now watch. Here we go, Charlie. Now watch this. What number, okay, that's our x, is, remember, is means equal, 50%. Now remember, Charlie, 50% is a word statement, so it has to be translated into a mathematical statement, which means we're going to write it as a decimal or a fraction. In this case, we're going to write it as a decimal. So notice, 50% turns into 0 0.50. Of, of means multiplication, right, Charlie? 30. Very nice there, Charlie. So there it is. What number is 50% of 30? There's your equation. Now, very easy. You got your calculator out, Charlie? Yeah. Okay. What's 0 0.50 times 30? 15. 15. That's right. So 15 is 50% of 30. There it is. Remember, on the exam, the most important part is to write out the equation, Charlie. We don't care about the answer. I want the equations written, right? Okay. Let's do another one. What number is 36% of 54? So here we go. We're going to read and translate. What number is... 36% of 54. There we go, Charlie. So get your calculator out and do 0 0.36 times 54. And what do you get? 19.44. Very nice there, Charlie. 19.44. Oh, what fun. Let's do another one. Here we go, Charlie. What percent of 54 is 17? Just relax, Charlie. Use the force. Here we go. What percent, that's our x, of 54 is 17? There you go, Charlie. So there's your equation. Now remember, x times 54 is the same as 54 times x, which is 54x, right? So 54x equals 17. What do we do, Charlie? The Bible says by 54. Very nice. 54s cancel out, and our answer as a fraction is 17 over 54, but we're going to write our answer as a decimal first, right? What is it, Charlie? 0 0.348. 0 0.3148, and remember, we were asked to find a percent because the question said what percent. That's why we're going from a fraction to a decimal and now to a percent. How do we change a decimal to a percent, Charlie? Right to... That's right, and there's our answer, 31.48%. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's keep going. 24 is what percent of 60, right? Okay, here we go. 24 is what percent of 60? There we go there, Charlie. So, left-hand side, we have 24. On the right, we have x times 60, which we write as what, Charlie? 60x. And that's right. And now, what do we do next? Divide both sides by 60. That's right. 60s cancel out. And so we have 24 over 60. And how do we write that as a decimal, Charlie? 0.4. That's right. 0 0.4. And now, remember, we were asked to find a percent because it said 24 is what percent? We're looking for a percent. How do we change a decimal to a percent? Move right twice. That's right. And so our answer is 40%. All right, Charlie, let's keep going. Let's make it a tough one now. Don't get scared. Here we go right there. Four sevenths is what percent of five eighths? Don't get scared. Now, we do not immediately want to change everything to decimals because that sometimes makes a big mess, as you'll see. We should be able to handle this problem with fractions, right? Here we go, Charlie. Four sevenths is what percent 
of 5 eighths. So there's our equation there, Charlie, right? Okay, so now on the right hand side, x times 5 eighths is the same as what, Charlie? 5 eighths x. That's right, 5 eighths x. Now, we're trying to solve for x, and x represents a percent. So here we go, Charlie. So we're going to multiply both sides by what, Charlie? 8 over 5 eight fifths. We're using the reciprocal method here. And notice, how do we multiply fractions on the left hand side, Charlie? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Very nice. And on the, so what do we get? 32 over 35. That's right. Now, on the right hand side, the 8's cancel out and the 5's cancel out, giving us 1's, right? So we got the 1x, and so that's on our right hand side. So 32 over 35 equals x. Now, that's not our answer because we were asked to find a percent, Charlie. So we have to change that fraction to a decimal. What is 32 divided by 35, Charlie? And we'll round to the nearest 10 thousandths, four decimal places. What did you get? 0.9143. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, how do we change the decimal to a percent? Right, two. Very nice. So there's our answer, 91.43%. So to answer the question, 4 sevenths is what percent of 5 eighths? What's the answer, Charlie? 91.43%. Very nice there, Charlie. And that's it for today. We'll see you all again soon.